Hey everyone, Steve here, and I want to talk a little bit about the new sketching experience in 3D Experience. There are some differences between the V5 Sketcher and the 3D Experience Sketcher, and one of those differences is when we first come into the Sketcher. You'll notice that there is only one sketch type now, it's called a position sketch. That I can definitely get behind. And once we go in, you'll see the menu pops up asks for my support and the support area is grayed out. You'll see here as soon as I pick on a sketch plane it takes me right into the sketcher but it's a positioned sketch. I can draw my rectangle profile whatever it is I want very similar to what I did in V5 and when I'm done I exit out. Okay so appreciable differences are entering in the sketch first thing. If I made a mistake and I were to undo, another difference is in the undo stack. When I undo this, I'm undoing, undo again, you'll notice that the undo takes me back into the sketcher and it allows me to go back and make modifications in the sketch if I want or if I undo again, it undoes the profile, undo again, I exit out of the sketcher. In a historical sense, V5, if I did an undo, once I exited out of the sketcher, it simply just undid the entire sketch. So there's another difference. And I like this because it allows me to go back into the sketch and sort of step back one by one by one. Um, it, you know, it's easy enough to redo something if I went back too far, but this sort of creates a nice little delineation between every one of those steps. Next. If I go back into my position sketch, this time I'm going to pick this plane. But if I pick this plane, it's going to automatically snap into the sketcher again. What I want to do this time is I want to hit this little button. I want to enable the smart positioning. And this frees up this menu. So now when I pick that sketch plane, I have the ability to go in and specify a projection point, intersection point, whatever I want, just like I did in V5. I pick my point. I can also specify an orientation. You'll notice there's my reverses and my swap. I'm going to select OK. And just like that, I am in my sketch. So there are, again, just a couple of little differences entering into the sketch. So if I want to position the sketch using something different than the defaults, I just hit the little button to the Smart Positioning option, and I begin my sketch. Something else that I like is I'll click on my rectangle icon. I still have my tools palette. I still have uh, my un under my action pad, I have my grid. If I want to see my grid, snap to point, my constraints, turning them on and off, visualization tools, only the current body that's there now, which is really nice. Um, you know, I have my points, lines, there's my axis. All, all the sketch tools are basically there, constraints, and so on. But there's a lot of new things as well inside the sketch. I just can't cover them all in this video, but I'm just going to mention a couple more things here. So if I come in and want to draw my rectangle, I'll pick my origin. This is kind of nice because it gives you an idea of how big that sketch is going to be. So you can see 72 by 61. You can get an idea of the scale of the sketch as you're drawing. So if it's too big or too small, you can zoom in and zoom out right now. So if it's uh, too small, I can zoom out and make it much bigger. If it's too big, I can zoom in and make it smaller. So I have that option straight away just by paying attention to those uh, uh, numbers there, the little dimensions that are appearing. When I click and I'm just going to pick out in space to deselect everything, you'll notice I still have my analysis on my sketch. I have my horizontal vertical lines. These are green because they're constrained. I can still move things around and you'll notice that when I pick a sketch curve I get this little menu. This little menu pops up. I have my break constraint. You can see I can construction constraint or um, element. I can trim things. I can go right into constraints. So this is nice. I don't have to go all the way back over to my action pad or anything else to get to a constraint. So if I wanted to pick this, I can do an offset off of that. I can trim. So if I wanted to trim this out for some reason, I can trim that out. 
or if I made a mistake, I want to trim or break, I can break it. Okay, so if I pick this now, if I can, uh, um, uh, let's see, right mouse click and delete. So I have all of those options there. Or if I wanted to, I can say uh, trim again, right, go to that corner, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So those tools are there. It's going to take a minute for me to get used to just because it's a completely new way to interact within the sketcher. But again, it makes things a lot faster. Um, some of the other things that I've noticed, which are I think are pretty neat, if I say pick on this line down here, I can do an offset. So if I wanted to do an offset on this line, I can do an offset on that line. You'll notice it gives me the distance. So if I wanted to do an offset on this, I can do the same thing. And then if I want to, I can begin with my trim. Say trim trim and just like that I've got my sketch drawn out corners put in I didn't ever have to go back to the action pad draw in more curves or anything like that some of the constraints are automatically uh, placed and depending on where I picked I picked from this edge to draw in maybe if I pick from that edge and, and came out here I had a dimension coming in the opposite direction so there's a lot of really neat tools that they've added in and like I said I'm going to extrapolate on these in a later video but I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the new things that I've seen and I absolutely love what they've done with this. So it's just made the sketching experience much better in 3D experience. And just like I always have before, I can just simply exit out of the sketcher. And once again, make a pad, revolve, whatever it is you want to do. And just like that, you have your solid. Anyway, uh, first impressions from sketcher. Once I played around with it, literally just for a couple of minutes, I've found that I really enjoy some of the things that have been added in and um, overall I think it makes things operate a little bit quicker and more efficiently.